We had some rain. Hey, we had some rain today. Hello, Papa. Oh, crap. The dog door is stuck open. Hope that one locked up for too long. This is about the time the deer come out. They're on high alert. High alert. Got three of them lined up. Guarding their post. Not easy, guys. Where's the dodgy girl? I love his brindling pattern. It's kind of symmetric there down the back, down the uh, spinal column, vertebra. Dolce. She's like, you will. You will play with me. You will. She is so ready to play. Oh, she's always amped up. Tux, he's wagging his tail. Hey, Tux. Hi, baby boy. He's such a good boy. Oh, baby girl. Give me this. Give me this stick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Ready? Ready? Sit. 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 <laughs> that was a half. Sit. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, yeah, I just love this brindling pattern. It's so beautiful. So, yeah, so gray brindle some people say blue brindle pit bulls usually are the, the term is blue blue brindle or blue like a blue nose pit but for kind of corso i think the most more common uh, term is a gray gray brindle i know someone was post commenting a while ago of really wanting to know you know what's better a gray a gray or a black or, and as far as the coloring goes i think the gray is more just of a dilute it's a black but a diluted black so it's kind of a recessive gene that gives that phenotype i'm uh you know not 100 percent sure no i'm not the expert in in that but that's what i have read and have heard but uh 
I, I love both. I, I love all the colors. I think the, the black kind of corso are so gorgeous. They look like panthers, black panthers almost. And they have really shiny coats. And then uh, the gray are also stunning. Whether it be the solid gray or the beautiful patterns of the brindled gray. Absolutely gorgeous. See how it's kind of like symmetrical. To me, it always reminds me of marbling in a cake or like a cappuccino when they when they make that mark when they make your cappuccino or that little swirl. Hey, Papa, talking about you. Now she's like, what else you got for me? What else you got? <laughs> now. Another thing we could uh, just kind of touch upon in, in this uh, video that, you know, some people want to know is like uh, just talking about different temperaments of the kind of corso. You can clearly see the different temperaments. Here's a great example. <laughs> you got really mellow, chill. You got really amped up, ready to play, ready for anything. Let's go. Play with me. Ready to tear something up. Yeah, so that's a good example. Also, that's a male, that's a female. And that might not have really anything to do with it, but, you know, there's mellow females, there's amped up males. So, the age difference, uh, that's a factor, possibly. Ozzy's about two years older than uh, Dolce here. So, that's potentially a factor. Because uh, Cane Corso are said to... Um, mature fully about three years of age so ozzy is fully matured dolce just under just under uh three she's a, a little she's around two so you know that could be a factor but my guess is that um that's just her temperament is she's got higher energy temperament com as compared to ozzy Uh, but uh, I love them both. Uh, both um, wonderful dogs in their unique way, you know. If I had a smaller kind of living situation, less land, um, I would prefer a dog like uh, Ozzy's temperament. How stoic he is all the time. Um, it helps to have... Oh, look at that sky. It helps to have, you know more land and um ways to exercise a dog like this kind of higher energy so the thing is in general i think in general as compared to other guardian type breeds guardian protective type uh dominant breeds like the rottweiler the german shepherd dog in general the kind of corso um from what i've read and experienced is is kind of more of a, a, a mellow type um, uh, breed. But just in my in, in my experience, the German Shepherds are, you know, they're pacing, they're panting, they're always on guard, and they're always, uh, like, they wear it on their sleeve. Where it kind of Corso is, has the same intensity of a protection factor and, and alertness, but they don't uh, exhibit that constantly they're they're more kind of like um the uh what you call it special detail you know like security detail of the white house you know <laughs> they're kind of in the background but they're always watching but uh so i do love that about them and uh we see a papa Oh, man. And and then uh, the phenotype, phenotypic features of kind of Corso breed standard is it's pretty well defined. You know, you can uh, look it up and everything. Look at Brindle, like a tiger stripe. But uh, in general, the the eye color when uh, when they're when they're gray. Their eye color as a puppy is usually blue. Oh, there is the bluest blue, bright, bright blue. 
when he was a puppy. And then as they mature, the eye color kind of um, takes more of a color, closer color to, to match their coat, in which they are. They're more of a kind of a gray right now. But uh, as far as I'm aware of, there's no um, genetic deficiency associated with the lighter color as a as as a, as has been seen in um, the Dogo Argentino and other uh, white coat blue eyed dogs where the the gene for for hearing is is um near the gene uh for the for the coloring so the loss of color that recessive gene um sometimes will impart a, a loss of hearing in certain breeds. Uh, that's not true uh, with the Cane Corso, from what I understand. So, but anyway, um, just a little bit chit-chat about all that. And uh, I'm going to, ooh, gorgeous sky. I'm going to enjoy this weather. The good thing is I don't have to water. It usually takes me about an hour to water, so... I actually get to enjoy some time with the dogs and um, have to get up early tomorrow. So I'm going to try and uh, get the dogs fed and and uh, kind of take care of everything I have to. So I will cut this one sh a little bit uh, shorter and uh, yeah, email me. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all, uh, who haven't subscribed yet. And um Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, as always, thanks for all y'all's support. And um, uh, let me know any other you know, kind of videos you'd like me to do or questions that you have. And I uh, hope everyone is having a good night, getting some relief from the heat wave that's been happening all around the country. And uh, I know a lot of places are getting some rain. So, and that brings some cooler, cooler weather like here in Texas. Oh, man. So nice, such a rare, rare uh, event in the summertime here, but uh, just really enjoying it. So anyway, y'all have a good night and talk to you later.